Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum. It's time for episode five, of season two of Mind Hunter. <sighs> Last episode did not did not end very well. Apparently, Brian's Bill's kid, Brian, um, uh, helped or was involved with or was a witness to uh, kids murdering a toddler. Positivity. Let's get to it. Watch. He knew enough to put him on a cross. He thought it would bring him back to life. I never liked that Martin boy. I just meant we need to get a handle on things. Find out what's next. I feel bad for everybody involved. Especially the kid on the cross. We want them to understand why they need us, not why they should be wary of us. I understand, sir. This cannot happen again, Bill. Bill is catching it from all angles today. I probably was barely in that meeting. Just you couldn't have called. Can you see just for a moment how it might be perceived when you present a profile without ever having been to a crime scene? Next time, shut up until we've done some groundwork. <laughs> Family thing. Everything okay? Yeah, you know, just... I'll be back in tomorrow. Okay. He does um, it terrible. Greg and I did Henley. Greg? Yeah, we thought you guys would be gone for weeks and we didn't want the interviews to lag. How'd he do? A little... hesitant. He shit the rug, didn't he? It was a team effort. <laughs> the transcript should be done by tomorrow. <laughs> Look forward to it. We are... Definitely going to miss something. She's hilarious. What? <sighs> 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 she looks entranced. I didn't picture you living in a place like this. Jesus, you gotta say it like that? Small. You're adorable. It's gonna end horribly. I like baseball. Jesus. You like baseball. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to go to that I'm game, are we? I'm sure I would if I ever went to a game. It feels a little heavy, no? Wendy, I don't introduce my son to people I'm dating. Oh no, of course. It's not. Um, no, it's it's fine. I I'm I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. You should not have. About you, not specifically. You, know, you you shouldn't introduce your son to people that you don't know. You know, I interview the byproducts of promiscuous mothers, and it's. Oh I'm not saying shit! That you're... Wow, that got bad fast. Nice save the mentor story. Oh. And just can we really lump him in with Kemper and Brudos? Without Coral's influence, would he have ever much progressed to murder? There's no way to know. Hold and picking up one. No, we wouldn't have gotten any of this if I hadn't... Improvised? Maybe made some shit up? Touché. <laughs> if we need to keep under your tech. Thank you, sir. We'll plan on it. Oh, uh, one more thing. I got you, Manson. Wow. When? Three weeks. Just like that. Either he was evading detection where he has no concept of right and wrong. The state is obligated to try to understand his motives to ensure he is not a danger oh, Jesus. to himself. The court will render decisions based solely on their evaluations. Your compliance in this process is mandatory and will be critical in determining Ryan's future. Social workers are underpaid and over -educated. Probably as good as that could have gone, all things considered. He's not defective. He's not a criminal. I know that, Nance. He's coming home with us. Today was a good day. So I saw it. Seriously? <laughs> to do that. Oh my god. Poor bastard. Who fucks this up first? Any Who fucks this up? Bill or Nancy? Do you read to him, Mrs. Tunch? Mm -hmm. He likes Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> I would guess Nancy, but Bill's... Mr. Tench? We're going through it. He rides his bike. Almost off training wheels. Both ends but of the But no team sports. At all times. Ryan! 
Oh, Jesus. Brian! Does he avoid you? He's had a tough few weeks. Ms. Leland, we love Brian. <laughs> he may be adopted, but please explain the process. Basic child safety guidelines. I'll be stopping oh by God. periodically. Of course. We'll submit regular reports to the Commonwealth Attorney with their recommendations. Ultimately, he'll make all decisions moving forward. Actually, went better than I thought. I thought one of them was going to crack in there. We'll see you. Yes, you will. I hate her. You hoping for an autograph? It's research. Try not to moisten yourself before you get inside. <laughs> that was awesome. How great was that? Besides, how's Nancy going to feel when he finds out we're talking to Kemper? Ooh. These guys are all jealous of each other. Ooh, look at all the Everybody knows when Charlie takes a shit, and if you haven't heard, he'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Even if somebody else took the shit for him. <laughs> He's never done that. Doesn't know what it's like. With anyone. I'm sure you understand. Of course, Bill. The taxing lifestyle. A lot of factors that go into success. That music building in the back. As I got, seems to me everything you know about serial killers has been gleaned from the ones who've been caught. <laughs> He's ready. That's great. One more thing. Manson is really small. Like really small. Try not to stare. Thank you, Ed. Well, you're alright for a serial killer. Like one of those breaking bad shots. Just attach a camera and anything. For posterity. Pretty sure he said, "Don't stare." Wow, he's tiny. We'd like to hear from you in your own words about what happened. Great acting, he shows. At least the way he looks. Head. In love, there is no wrong. Love? That's what you taught your family? You're a family man, Agent Tim. Oh, Jesus. Your own children? Who you were neglecting? We know that no one in the family acted without your approval, Charlie. <laughs> well, if you know, you know. You don't need to talk to me. It's yourself <laughs> you need to talk to. Act is really good. Hippie cult leader who programmed people to kill. In that book, he's got me so powerful to look for me, stopped his watch. I lay there <laughs> and myself wondered. You're saying the murders, everything, was just to get Bobby Beausoleil out of prison? Those kids were looking at me with hard eyes. It's hard to tell if he was at the end of an old hire starting a new one. Now, I went back to the Cielo Drive house that night and sent one of the kids inside to see if he really done it. Why didn't you go inside? It was a crime scene. I'd have been in violation of my parole. <laughs> but oh my you God, this conversation is insane. Awkward. Whatever life is, it is. Right and wrong got nothing to do with it. So the murder of seven people just is? Well, it is, isn't it? <laughs> That dialogue's so good. No one ever. And then you say your children are killers. No, I'm saying you're a killer. I have killed no one. You ordered them to go I to that house and no slaughter to everyone be there. Bill. I'm strong by far. You're not supposed to let children fall. You're supposed to guide them. Guide them into what? Guide them into what you've guided them into? You fucking midget. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's anger. But what you want is a fiend. Cause that's what you are. He's killing it, goddamn. See, I never. Hey, man, I like your sunglasses. Can I have them? You didn't give me your sunglasses? What the fuck? Thank you, Kyla. <laughs> the guru. Manson said he lifted these from He said he stole them. He was bragging about it. He's on his way to the home. Wow. You can't spend one more day? No, I can't. And after Atlanta, we can't fuck up again. Guys, what's going on? Son, we're on a bill, clearly. I do this interview. I need to know. Can I trust you? Absolutely. Just go in, do the interview, come home. Got it? I promise. This feels like a bad idea, sir. Fuck. 
What time have you got? Did he make his watch stop? Sixteen. Something wrong with your watch? It's fucking magic. <laughs> we conduct interviews with convicted felons. Try to codify their behavior, gain insight into their mental states. What types of criminals do you deal with? I Jesus. study multiple murderers. Awkward. <laughs> he tried. He tried to dance around it at first. You can't dance around that. Are you? Yeah, I'm, I must have been. I'm very intrigued by what that conversation was like. Could you share any tidbits? Sure. Now that I've been in here a while, that was the first true sin of my life. But I have repented of it. God's grace has blessed my soul with the peace of his forgiveness. You said you felt Verkowski had 51 stab wounds. I remember the knife going up and down like a hammer in an engine block until my fist disappeared in the mess. What the fuck? He begged us to take her with us, let her have her baby, and kill her after. Tex? Let's say I heard some Tex go somewhere else. So you're taking responsibility. I killed those people. All of them. I buy his story completely. Those people are victims of the Watson murders. But the Bible tells us all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. He who confesses obtains mercy. I was Great. lost until- People who only had to have their fear removed to do what they did. They simply helped them be who they were. Jesus. I know, Bill. You're connecting it. You keep trying to- Hi. Ah, oh, I feel so bad for Bill. It's fine. I did plenty of it at BU. Oh, I appreciate it. And I do want you to have a good time. Speaking of which, someone I would love for you to meet. Warren. <laughs> this is Dr. Wendy Carl. Let me have a drink sent over. What do you have? A glass of white wine, thank you. So you've actually read our reports. He's ballsy. They are sected from the Dr. Carr commentary on Ed Kemper's mutilation fantasies. Well, I'm afraid to ask what you expected. Something not so... Form-fitted. What else do you enjoy? I don't consider either of those things hiding. What I mean is... Can I take you out? You have a very compelling presence. Spend all your time in such solitary pursuits. You may not even be aware of your... Your effect on people. What are we doing here? Oh my what god. Politics. What I mean is... We can be somewhere else together. Holy oh, like shit. Uh, Warren, no. This is Special Agent Holden Ford. Is also with Behavioral Science. This is he Warren is Freeman. Just so bold. Reason. I'll leave you in Agent Ford's hands. Excuse me while I take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> What's important? In the Manson story is that we're learning what compulsions motivate behavior. For him, it was the appearance of control. His crimes can be oh, boiled don't down put to that singular need. She's probably snuck out, as she should. No, Bill, I think that I might just sneak out. I don't blame you. <laughs> Absolutely. Jesus. Did my partner tell you about Richard Speck? No. So Speck comes in, and we see he's got something in his hands. <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> Holding stinks. At that part of it. Tonight, oh. as you sleep, I destroy the world. What the fuck? Cease to exist. All right, that was episode five of season two of Mind Hunter. Where to begin? Hmm. First things first. I have a question, and I know I have read several times that season one of Mind Hunter is one of the greatest seasons of television ever. I don't hear the same praise for season two, but I don't really hear any complaints about it. I only I only really hear about how great season one is, and that we need a season three. That's all I hear. Um. My question would be, why is season two not as acclaimed, either critically or, um, it's not commercially, it's not the word I'm looking for, by the fans, um, critically by critics or critically by the fans as season one is? Is it, um, because it's more of the same, like the newness is gone? 
Is it the fact that we appear to be spending time with Bill's family and uh, Doc's Wendy's romantic situation over Holden's stuff in season one? I gotta be honest. Uh, I find their personal lives way more interesting than Holden's. Even if Brian's murder thing may be a little too on the nose. I don't know. I'm curious though. So I can't see like just the serial killer stuff. I don't see a big difference. I find five episodes in, I find the serial killer stuff to be just as interesting. Ed in the first season, Manson in this one, David to me the other what? <laughs> Ed in the first season, and then Manson in this one, while well, Ed's was superior uh, by a decent distance. Distance. Um, I thought Manson was good. I thought he kind of worked perfectly against uh, Bill, who was not here for the shit. Um, though he kept the school better than he probably could have, especially when Manson threatened to uh, kill him with that mic cord. I was like, I, I think I'll take Bill in that fight here and now. Um, yeah. It was just not as good. Well, they don't think it's as good. I'm about the same for me. Five seasons, five episodes in, rather. A um, couple of small nuggets I want to bring up. And that is, I don't call Wendy sexuality because that's not, that's not accurate. But uh, her hiding of her um, sexuality, we'll say, uh, came up at least twice in this episode. Uh, once, when Bill drops a dyke. Um, yeah, a little gruff but a little rougher on the edges and when he makes a face that nobody catches it's really quick and um, kind of goes along with it and then at the end uh, because she didn't bring a date because the date she would bring would have a vagina um, <laughs> um, that's over the top um, that creep I forgot what he does but he's important um and he is wild. Uh, hits on Wendy. Like, hard. Like, he's not even really that subtle. He kind of talks like she's a prostitute, quite frankly. Like, let's get out of here. Like, now. I'll drive you home. Follow you to the bathroom. Like, sir, what the fuck? He's ready to take that other woman home when Wendy came back. And I couldn't tell if her face was, are you about to ruin this for me? Or, please take me with you and get me out of here. That was a lot. That was a lot. He's kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think it's because he's he's clearly a man of some influence. And she was brought there as bait at the very least. Because, um... I forget his name. But their new boss knew exactly what he wanted when he fucking, uh... Zipped her zipper down just a scooch. That was a fun episode. I was surprised by the Manson stuff, and I was surprised by the text stuff. Uh, not text, Watson stuff. It, um... I just bought him completely. I know this, I know Wendy said both were unreliable, but to me, I bought text almost completely. Um, not that he's... Um... Not that he's... What's the word I'm looking for? Not that he's uh, any better or worse, but I, b I believe he believes he's telling the truth. Well, I find Manson to be uh, a better performer, quite frankly. He's performing. This is an act. He is completely full of shit. Uh, even if some of the things he says are true. That's a good way to put it. That's a bad way to put it. He may be, some things he might say, um, he's saying may be true. But he is clearly putting on a performance. Playing a character, if you would. As these sunglasses showed. Quite frankly. Anyway. I'm excited. We're almost out of episodes. I'm a little down. Not gonna lie to you. I enjoy these episodes. My favorite. I was gonna say 40 minutes. This was a longer one. I think an hour and change. Of the week. Anyway. Uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.